Hey guys, in last week's video, I made this brass cross for a friend of mine, but I had some serious shrinkage on the back side. So I'm going to melt down some brass and give it another try. For today's video, I'm going to be using my outdoor propane furnace. Unlike last week, I used my indoor electric furnace. So I'm going to fill the crucible all the way to the top, bring it outside, and ignite my furnace to get this brass melted down. So just like in last week's video, I did not film the making of this sand casting mold. It is quite extensive and pretty boring. But you can see here, I still have the wooden pattern in the sand mold. I carved out the perimeter of the wooden pattern because it has no draft angle on the pattern. Doing it this way would allow me to remove the wooden pattern without pulling any sand out with it. And here's a picture I have of the top half of the mold. This is where you can see I added a riser at the end of the runner. Hopefully this will feed the brass with more brass as it cools and eliminate any shrinkage. And here's my full setup for today's cast. I surrounded my area with sand because I've had a couple mishaps in my previous videos where I burned my driveway and basically ruined it in certain areas. So I put down the sand as a protective barrier just in case of a spill. The brass that I put there originally has now melted down and I'm going to add more brass to the furnace. Brass melted down, I'm preheating the spoon and I'm going to scrape away any of the dross that floated to the top. With the dross removed, I'm going to remove the crucible from the furnace and pour that molten brass into the green sand mold that I previously made. I still have some brass left over in the crucible. I'm going to put it back into the furnace and add even more brass to it. Then I'll be pouring it into some graphite ingot molds for easier storage.
After only a few minutes later, the brass is now solidified and I can remove them from the mold. Back in the garage, I'm going to open up this sand mold and see how this came out. And from this side, it looks like it came out perfect. Just like the last one. We won't know until we see the back side of the cross. And unfortunately, there is slight shrinkage on the back side, not nearly as severe as the first one I did. So now it's time to put this in the vise and cut off the runners and clean this thing up. I use this Vivor belt sander to sand away the perimeter of the crawl. And then I use my mini lathe with a sanding pad to really clean this up. Starting at 240 grit sanding paper and going up to 600. And I think this thing came out really good. Even with this little dimple in the top where it had some shrinkage. I think possibly if I had a taller feeder or riser it may have worked better. But I'm not going to make another one so it is what it is. And let's get a weigh in on the cross. We have here 1.1 pounds, 503 grams, 0.503 kilograms, and 17.75 ounces. 